Welcome, Star Kids and Friends. Today's passage is Ephesians 6, verses 5 to 9. In the previous passage, Paul commanded children to obey their parents in the Lord. He also told fathers to train and instruct their children in the ways of God. When we obey our parents as they are teaching us God's way, the Bible says this is right. Paul also reminds us of one of the Ten Commandments that's still to be followed today. This commandment is to honor your father and mother. The word honor refers to much more than just obedience. It means that we should have a proper attitude of love and respect for our mom and dad when we obey. This attitude and obedience leads to a great blessing. Today's passage teaches us slaves, how slaves and masters should relate to one another in a way that honors the Lord. These slaves were often part of the master's household and they may not have had individual rights of their own. Although we do not have slaves today, these verses teach us how we should work when we're working under the authority of someone else, like at school or at a job. So before we read, let's pray and ask God to teach us how we can honor the Lord uh, with those that are in authority over us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for uh, Lord, speaking to us in your word today and teaching us, Lord, I pray that you would help our minds to focus on what you, um, what your words command us today as we read it, help it to make it clear to us that we can understand it, and Lord, I pray that you would help us know how we can honor those uh, that are in authority to us when we do work, and, uh, and how we can please you in that. In Jesus Christ's precious name, amen. Well, read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 6, verse 5. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, not people because you know that the Lord will reward each one for whatever good they do, whether they are slave or free. And masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Do not threaten them, since you know that he who is both their master is you in, excuse me, do not threaten them, since you know that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. What is God saying to you today in that passage? Take some time to think about it. Maybe read it over again and write down what you are learning in your journal. And don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else.